when writing, show, don't tell. Some people don't even know what that means. <laughs> Show, don't tell. Some people would say, well, in writing, everything is telling. No. What it's saying is you have to break your writing down into two concepts. Telling is a narrative that can come from you as the author or from a character that's in quotes. And it's what they call an information dump or an info dump. And it's just blah. Here's what you need to know. Now, sometimes that is necessary or the right tool to use. Other times, though, you want to show. An example of this telling is John was worried. That's just telling people that John was worried. A different way to do it, show John is worried. John's eyes darted from side to side. He crossed his arms and uncrossed them while licking his lips and letting out a puff of breath. That shows the anxiety and the worry. Um, that's pretty much that. I, I can give other examples, but saying, and they sat down and discussed the plan and came up with the idea of robbing the bank using duct tape squirrels and Skittles. That's telling. Much more interesting to the story would be showing how they came up to the idea of duct tape squirrels and Skittles to rob a bank. Which isn't to say you have to spell it every time. But they also say that they, they, the old adage of learn the rules to break the rules. So, about 60% of your book should be dialogue. 60%. If you're watching a movie, the conversation tends to keep you. Same in a book. The conversation defines your characters, how they speak, how they act, what they think. Just giving paragraphs of information, it takes somebody out of the story. It no longer connects them to your characters, and that's what carries the story and your reader forward. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.